a tongue drum prodigy in the making. You feel me? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. You know from the title and the thumbnail what we're doing here, but you know, I'm not being very sneaky because you can see what's happening right here. Timu kind of has me in a chokehold. I keep saying I'm not going to go back and like there's nothing there I need, which is still true. Didn't need anything that's in here, but I wanted it. Um, <laughs> if you've interacted with Timu at all, you probably get Timu ads on everything. Well, actually, most of my Timu ads actually come from Snapchat. That's where I see it the most. And they advertise this free, like, iPhone accessories kit set situation. And it had, like, a wireless charger, wireless headphones, a phone case, like, a wall, like, you know, the brick that goes in the wall that you plug to pour it into. Actually, the one that I saw had, like, a wireless MagSafe charger. But then when I got to Timu, it wasn't there, but... I still ended up getting sucked in and ordering other things because it was advertising you would get that free and then you could get two other things. So I'm like, what are the, you know, what are the other options? So I went and looking and I found quite a few things. Um, and then I also already had a cart and they were giving me discounts on the, some of the things that were in my cart. And I actually got something in here that I've been in the market for like on Amazon. Let's get into this. There's a bunch of things in here. Um, this is a Timu product right here. This box cutter, it's a little cloud. I'm just gonna cut right in. There's some tape, I'm assuming courtesy of somebody that left a comment on my first Timu video, because this is Timu video number three, um, that I should anticipate things being a little disheveled because it does have to go through customs. And I didn't realize that before, so I was kind of commenting on how poorly packaged stuff was, but that may not necessarily be Timu's doing. So I'm just gonna kinda haphazardly cut at this. Um, trying to cut away from myself, you know, box cutter safety. Okay, here we go. We got an entrance. You can kinda see here, there's a, well, can you see what's in there? Not really, it's a little dark, but let's grab. Okay, this first thing is actually um, supposed to be curtains, I believe. Okay, is it gonna be two curtains is the question. Um, oh, okay, see, should have read. So it's only one curtain, um, but it is long. But what am I gonna do with one curtain? I don't know. I'll probably have to get creative, but this is, it's like a, it is long though, as I anticipated it being. It's, I don't remember how many feet this is supposed to be, but I'll pull up the listing. Oh, and I also didn't realize it was like shimmery, but there's, it's like a leaf print, like hanging vine type situation with little thin leaves hanging off of it. It does have the little opening on the ends here to put your curtain rod through, but it's only one curtain. In the picture it showed two, I probably, I guess I just didn't really read it. It probably said it, um, but it was just the one. Those are the types of things you got to pay attention to on Timu. Um, okay, so this is says it's the LED compact mirror. So this is supposed to be like a compact but lighted mirror. Okay, it feels promising. I can see the little battery pack on the back. Um, is there batteries in it? Dang, no batteries in there though. So that's not really gonna do much for me. Um, and they're the cell kind of battery, so I'm gonna have to try to dig some of those up or well go to the store pop her open i mean she works so one side is magnifying and the other side is normal the normal side is the side with the lights i can't really tell oh, you're seeing my you're seeing yourself and me um but this side has the lights and then this side doesn't this is the magnified side and then this is the regular um but yeah, I can't test the lights for you because there's no batteries. It feels good. Like, it has weight to it, so it feels like it's going to work. Um, it has a little on-off switch in the back here. So, you know, I just turned it to on, but clearly not on because there is no, uh, no batteries in there. So here is the thing that I was advertised on Snapchat. 
So this is, it says accessory gift box, top match. And I did get it for specifically for my phone. They had it for all the iPhone like sizes and shapes and models. Um, I don't know how far back they went. They might have went back to maybe an eight. There was a lot of options, but I have a 12 Pro Max. Here's my phone. Gonna kind of try to slide this off. Here we go. So this is what it looks like when you first open it up. It looks like something might have shifted maybe. I don't know, maybe not. Um, so there's the phone case, the charger block. This is the wireless charger. And then there is like just a regular like lightning cable. Looks like there's some form of instruction in here in the lid. What does this say? So three watt dual C port fast charging head. So this is, yeah, they're both type C um, ports and it's two of them. So you can char charge two things at once. Um, type C for Apple charging data line, magnetic mobile phone shell, magnetic wireless charger, and Olipod. Am I missing that? Oh no, they're under the phone case. Olipods, Ale, no, Ale Pods 3 headset. Oh, here they are. Here are the Ale Pods. Literally, they're literally called Ale, not Air. Ale pods. <laughs> Interesting choice in name. Let's peel these open. These, it looks kind of like an AirPod Pro case, like almost indistinguishable. I haven't seen, I have a pair of AirPod Pros, but I don't use them because I lost one. Oh, and they're, they're, they're like the Pros. So they have the little ear thingy on them, the little like a uh, sizer rubber thing. Let's see, will they pair with my phone and will I be able to hear out of them? Let's see. So we're gonna go. All right, so let's see. Settings, Bluetooth. I have a lot of things on my, <laughs> my Bluetooth. Okay, TWS, I'm guessing is what that is. That was my oven, I was preheating it. Okay, it says they're connected. So let's see. And they're 100% charged, so they come fully charged, apparently. Do they disconnect, it disconnects when you close? Is that what happens? Let's see. Okay, something beeped in my ear. Oh, they are kind of noise canceling because as soon as I put them in, my voice sounds like it's coming from inside my head. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll just play less than a plan. I'm not getting any sound. What's happening? Why aren't they working? It says they're connected, but no sound is coming out. Did I do something wrong? They, it paused when I took them out of my ear. So, It does not start playing again when I put them back though. What is T? What's happening? It's giving these are a dud. These might be a dud. I don't want to spend too much time fiddling with them. these are? Are these not TWS? And put them back. Yeah, I think these are gonna be a, these might just be a dud. 
Okay, now it says connected. Okay, wait, now I'm getting sound. Sound is happening. No. No. It meant the Siri sound worked, but not music. Oh, what just happened? It's playing now. Oh, I just, okay. They're working now. Why they weren't before, I don't know. Sorry if I'm yelling. These are really noise canceling. The sound of these is kind of slapping. The sound was so good, I kind of just didn't want to stop. Like, I didn't want to take them out. The music just sounded really good coming out of here. Started out feeling like a dud, but these might actually be a winner. Now, I don't know if they're going to be that inconsistent, like, going forward. Like, now that I've gotten it to play, will it continue to work right every time? Or am I going to have to struggle with them every time I try to listen to music? If, if I have to struggle with them, then they're still a dud. But if they keep working, this, these, these for free... With all this other stuff, this alone is worth more than free. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's see. Does the phone case fit? I'm assuming it will. I don't see why it wouldn't. And then we can test out the wireless charging situation. So then, so with this, you can use the wireless charger for your phone and then use the lightning cable for your ale pods. <laughs> That's funny to me. Ale pods. I wonder who decided that should be the the dupe name. Okay, there's a plastic film on here. I can feel it, but can I peel it? Here we go. Didn't make as good of a sound as I thought it would, but that's fine. This is not looking very good though. I've Oh, I wonder if this is one of those phone cases that's going to turn yellow after a while. But this is a Timu phone case as well. I think I got this phone case in my first Timu haul. Really cute. Um, sunflower, I mean, flowers with smiley faces on them. Eh, come on. I haven't taken it off since I put it on. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It does fit. There are some like ripples. The case looks dirty because that plastic film wasn't stuck down smooth. Unless, is there a plastic film on the inside maybe? Maybe that's what I'm seeing, hold on. Is there a film on the inside? There is, wonderful, because I was gonna say this is not satisfying. Here we go, there we go. Wonderful, that's, that's better, that's clear. Okay, just your run of the mill, run of the mill clear case. Let's take the plastic off this charging block. Are you allowed to do that? Can you, if you don't make an Apple product, can you make something that takes an Apple charger? Or is that not just an Apple thing? I've only had an Apple product with a lightning thing attachment situation. Um, oh, and also there is this uh, like phone strap thing for you to put on the AirPod thing which I think is something actual AirPods should probably implement so you can carry them without a, like a case on your case, if you so chose. I don't know. This seems like it should be, should have already been a Apple feature. Okay, so you can have them on your wrist. Um, but yeah, let's see if the charger charges. So. Okay, I have both things plugged into our thingy here. Let's see, we're gonna plug this in, see if this light changes. Can you even see the light? There's an orange light on here. Okay, now the light is blinking. I doubt you can see that though. Yeah, I can't really bring it any closer to you, but it's charging, it's blinking. So now, hold on, let's put our MagSafe on. Oh, can you see that? It's charging. Oh, that's, that's, I mean, hey. Yeah, that worked, that's working. Wait, when I just showed it to you, it looked like there was a circle on the screen, but then when I did it the second time, it didn't do that. Let's see. Hold on. Can, oh, 
I don't even think you can see what that says. But it's charging. It works. That's cool. I'm going to leave my phone on the charger and these headphones on the charger while I finish the video. Love that. So that was the free thing that incentivized me to get this entire package. And we're only, what, three products in? I am thoroughly pleased. Oh, I think I know what these are, actually. I think I do. So they just, they're just in styrofoam. Styrofoam is so messy. Okay. There are these little, hold on, let me get the other one out. Ugh. Didn't mean to clang them. Mushroom glasses. So they're like, it's a glass, like a drinking glass, but they're mushrooms. I don't know if you can really tell that they're mushrooms though, looking at them in person, but that's what they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be little mushrooms. These are cute and they feel good in my hand. I don't know. I mean, they're real glass. Seems like kind of thin glass, but you know, you don't, you shouldn't drop glass anyway. So and these are as advertised. I think this is about the size I anticipated them being. Just for like a cute little, maybe a cocktail or like a, I don't know, something. But they're cute. I, I like a mushroom motif. I think I got something else mushroom in a team of all like little mushroom, crystal mushrooms. Okay, this next part is kind of, oh, okay, but it's good stuff in here. So it was like a, and hopefully I'm putting these things on the screen. But this was supposed to be a set of like 10 fidget items. It showed them coming in like a little jar or something, but they, instead they came in a little bag, which is fine. But we got, looks like some pretty interesting things here. So we have a pop it bracelet. Um, the pop it's, are they popping? Um, okay, the other way they pop. Yeah. No, those weren't good, but you know, because this pop, if they're very soft bubbles, so the pop is not as satisfying as you'd like it to be, but, or I guess as I'd like it to be, but it's a pop. It. I might give that to one of my, one of my, uh, my babies. I've been seeing these fidgets. These don't excite me, but maybe in person they might. Oh, okay. Okay. Does it make the noise? That's fun. That part's fun. And the... Okay, yeah, I kind of like this. I'm childish. This is fun to me. Let's see what else is in here. Is this a dog? Oh, it's a unicorn. Um, this is not as exciting to me. Te oh, well maybe, this, texturally it feels kind of good. Like if you drag your hands across it like this. I could see this being a fun fidget, just sitting at your desk, like going like this. That's the intention behind these, is for me to have a, something to fidget with while I'm sitting at my desk working. I don't know if I'll bring any of these in office because a lot of them are noisy, but while I'm working from home, which if you've been keeping up with my weekly vlogs, um, I'm actually in office more often now than I typically am. And by more often, I mean five days a week, which is new for me. <laughs> Haven't done anything five days a week since like college. <laughs> but yeah, so this is kind of fun. I could see it getting like dirty though, and then me not being interested in it once it gets dirty. What's this green noodle situation? That's literally all it is. A green stretch, oh, shoot, stretchy noodle situation. So I guess that's all what you would do with it, just kind of. Honestly, I could see myself fidgeting with all these things because as you can see, I'm fidgeting with them right now. <laughs> but that's, yeah, that's fun. Okay, cool. What's this little dude? like a little opposable dude and you can like bend his arms he has opposable joints like they go all different directions like they don't all go the same way his legs do the same thing oh and is he also a fidget spinner okay you're gonna have to bend your legs if you want me to spin you ah! okay leg broke off is it permanent did it permanently break off or did i just snap it 
Go back on. Okay, 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 okay. I have to be gentle. These are Timu products. Be gentle. I can't. Okay, wait. Maybe they all need to go the same direction. No, can't do that. Oh, see, this is this part, just this part, like having to think about this like this is fun. <laughs> it's like, how can I, how do I make this work? Oh, yeah, they did something with this. They did something with it. And then his head is a poppet. Oh. Clearly, I'm very easily impressed. <laughs> That's really exciting to me. Oh, I don't have a desk. I wonder if I can make him jump. These take me back to childhood. I had these as a kid, but these are like the little jumping things. You put them on the table and you press them down and he jumps. Oh, that was a good jump. Where'd he go? Here he is. Good dude. Need a desk though to really get the, the full gist. Another little mini poppet situation. This one has a little loop-de-loop -loop on it. I think I see. Okay, so it comes with a little chain for you to put the little like ball and eye thing what's it called i don't know what this is called where you take the little you know the ball and you put it through the opening this is what it, like fan pulls are made of to me like in my brain it's a fan pull but you know a little keychain pop it situation um what is this oh oh this is this is weird this is a very like uh it feels like a diy fidget because this looks like one of those finger traps but sewn shut on both ends with a marble inside so you're kind of just rubbing the marble back and forth and it doesn't come out it's just in there oh i mean i mean i'd fidget with it I, it it said it's a bag of fidgets and they they, they deliver these fidgets fidget there's one thing in here that I'm like kind of saving for last. Okay, this is probably the least. Uh, well, maybe, oh, maybe I need, oh, yep, that's the issue. I was about to say this is the least impressive because look at him. He just looks like a little, even his little parts are rubbing off. His, his animation is all scratched up. But then I sat him down and he's a weeble. Do you remember weebles? Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. That, that, I think that was their theme, but it's a weeble. Is it nuts that why am I emotional about a weeble? <laughs> this is, I'm entertained already. <coughs> I'm choking. But look at him. He just weebles. Weebles wobble, but they oop, do fall down. And he landed right sorta. Of. Love that. I love a weeble. I never had a weeble. Now I have a weeble. Okay, this one is losing its stickers. Oh, and it's like, damn it. I mean, like pointy. But it's a mini Rubik's Cube. Oh, it doesn't turn very well. I'm not going to ruin it, but it's a mini Rubik's. Oh, does it only go one way? Oh, I already broke it. Okay, so that's, this one is the least impressive, I think, because it's, unless it's supposed to do that. No, I don't think it's supposed to. I don't think that was supposed to come off like that. <laughs> Whoopsie. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, come on. Does it go back on? Oh, it does. It snaps right back on. Okay. So a very fragile mini Rubik's Cube. Um, this is probably would just be for like decoration. I don't think I... Because it's like you can't go back without something popping off. Huh. See? See? And this time it was a different one. I don't like that. You know, this is the least pleasant of the options but i guess if you really wanted to if you messed it up and really wanted to put it back together you could literally take it apart and put it back together okay i guess i just have to rotate until i get to where i want to be here we go okay put it back together yeah that's fine i guess uh, my favorite which one was my favorite i think it's between i think i have three favorites this tingy This dude with his fidget spinner vibes and his poppet head and his opposable limbs and a little weeble. My weebling penguin. 
I would I would literally sit at my desk and do this. This this is something I would do. All right. Um. <laughs> On to the next thing. See, these hauls be so long because I get engrossed in singular items. What's this? Let's start with this. Oh, this is my, um, my, um, my, um, my watering can. All right. So some assembly required, um, but it looks like this. It's green, obviously. How much water does it hold? It says one liter of water. And here's the spout. Um, okay. Open it up. This one? I think this one. Is it gonna stay? It's the question. Don't leak. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's in there. She's in there. So then you get your little, you know, you fill her up and then you. Does it, is this the right way? I think so. Maybe. Does that look right? Does it come back out? <gasps> yeah, okay, it does. I put it this way what do we think i don't know i need to look at the picture but one of these directions you know and it's just a watering can but it's cute and it's green and yeah and i can tell exactly how much water i'm giving because there's like measurement lines on here so there's that love that so this is supposed to be like a kind of, if you know what a tens unit is but for your feet it's like a foot massage mat, but it's like a TENS unit type of massage. Like not buzzing or kneading or anything, but like a TENS unit basically. So yeah, EMS foot massager. So how to do it, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna test this joint out. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna like show you my feet. I wonder if I can do it with socks on or do I have to be barefoot? Gotta kick my fidgets out the way. So, it comes with this USB thing. Oh, because this just needs to be charged, I think. I don't even think you have to have, like, it doesn't have to be plugged in. So you can, like, take it anywhere. And it charges with what looks like a an Android charger situation. I mean, yeah, that's what this is. Um, and then there is a remote. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so it attaches by snaps. So there's two snaps right here and then two snaps embedded in the back of this plastic piece. Does it? Oh, oh, it's on. It's on. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Do I turn, how do I turn it off? Okay. So the plus button turns it on and the minus button turns it off. But let me plug it in before I turn it on because I don't want a TENS unit in my hand. Um, okay, it's snapped in. Oh, I think I did that. Maybe. Does it matter? I want to see what's happening. Okay. Snapped in. I'm going to put it on the floor. It has a remote. Are there batteries in the remote? Oh, there are because it has a little plastic tabby in there. So I'm just going to pull that out. Um, should I be nervous? I'm going to leave my socks on. Okay, maybe I'll record on my phone so you can see. Ignore the charger thingy on the floor. I'm just gonna place it so you can see the little feet shapes. I'm just gonna put my socked foot on here um, as a precaution. <laughs> and then hitting the power button. Is it gonna work? Does the power button, does the remote work? Um, oh, there it goes. I was too far away. Uh, plus one. Okay. Two. Okay, I'm kind of feeling something. Very little something though. Maybe I do need to take my socks off. Okay, 19 is as high as it goes. But I'm gonna, okay, it went back to one. What is happening? Oh, oh, mode. There's modes. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait. Let me take my sock off. Oh, because now y'all gonna be looking all at my toes and stuff. My toes ain't done. Sorry. All right, let's see. I'm gonna focus on the... Oh, not my toe. Okay. We just gonna focus on that part. 
Okay. It's all beat. Ooh, not my toenail. Come on. Come on. Oh! Oh! <laughs> my ankles are pulsating. Ho, ho, ho. One is enough. And you can't do it with socks on. Oh, okay. Mode. Ah, massage. Okay. Oh my God. Wait, I'm sorry that y'all have to look at my toe. Um, this is nuts. Huh? This is so, oh my God. I need another human being to feel this. Train. You running a train on my feet? What's happening? What's, what's, what's tea? Um, okay. Come on, mode. What's the next mode? It's, ah, need. Oh yeah, that's intense. Need is intense. Um, shaping. Don't know what that means. It, what's that say? Extrusion. Slap. Ooh, 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 Sla that's slapping. Oh yeah, I don't wanna see what, okay, what's two? I'm gonna put it on two. Ah, oh, oh. <laughs> this is nuts. I mean, I could see this doing something though. I'm gonna stop recording my feet, but like, this is, I'm low key finna lead this on for the rest of the, uh, This is crazy. It worked though. And you're seeing the prices for all these things on the screen. This is um interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, what's in this little box? Um ooh, I'm kind of distracted. <laughs> Maybe I should turn it off. Oh, this is just a little uh so I have a scrub, I have a scrub mommy, but scrub mommy, scrub daddy, same thing. But this is like Cause you know how the scrub daddy has an eye and a, or has eyes and a mouth. So it's like a little suction cup thing to put in your sink. So you can like put your scrub daddy on it instead of sitting it down on the counter. You can just have it like standing up and let it drain or whatever. But that's what this is. A little scrub daddy holder. I'm gonna, I'll test that out and let y'all see what was to it. Even though, you know, very simple. Y'all get it, but just for the visuals. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna open these, but these are um, little plant hooks and they have like sticky adhesive things to put on to put on the wall. Cause I have a pothos in my living room. So like, like if you see my vlogs and stuff, you see me like water my plants. Um, but I have a pothos with very long vines and I kind of want them to go up the wall. So that's what these are for, um, to clamp the vines onto the wall so it can kind of grow like a, um, what is it called? Like a trellis type situation. Um, but yeah, so that's what those are. I'm probably gonna need more because those are only 10 and the vines on my pothos are very long. Uh, let's see. Okay, there's a, oh, I think I know what this is. I think I know what this is. This, I believe is the thing that I've been in the market for on Amazon. Uh, it's kind of an eclectic object. I was trying to explain it to my friend Jasmine on the phone yesterday and uh, she'd never heard of it, which is understandable. It's not a well-known thing, I don't believe. Okay. So that's what it looks like when you open it up. Any guesses from this view as to what it is? Um, so I'm gonna take out just a couple things at a time. So I'll take out this bag first. Um, and there's actually, oh, it says on this book what it is, but we have some rubber mallets and this is gonna tell you what it is. A steel tongue drum music book. So I don't think I really showed you. But that's what it says, steel tongue drum music book. Does it just tell you what to hit? Eight inches of eight notes. 12 inches, 12 notes. Oh, no. Oh, the, oh, there really are songs. And it tells you what to, what to dink and how long to dink it. Okay, cool. Let's see. And then we have, it comes in a little, oh, a little like dust bag situation. Mind you, I'm still massaging my feet right now and it's, it's doing something. This is, it's really crazy. Um, but here's the thing. Okay. So, there she blows. Okay, these numbers, do they look like they're going to peel off? Kind of. They're just kind of tacked on here, but here's the tongue drum. Let's see. 
Can I, is it playable on a not flat surface? I'm trying to sit it on my leg. This is the number one, this note. So this is one, two, three, four. Is that really one? Is that a lie? There's two ones on here. So this is eight. They lied. See? All right, Timu freaking up. Um, so there's a one here. Can you see that? One on this side, and then if I turn it around, there's one over here too, but this is the real one, and this is eight. So I'm gonna have to relabel that, but. first note was so anticlimactic because you would think to be number one you need to have a little power but here's the real number one I am so excited I am just I'm just an eclectic person I have weird interests like you know how do you explain the things I'm interested in how would you explain this instrument um you know I'm just these are the things that ca that catch my eye but let me pack my tongue drum back up I'm gonna put the mallets in there with it um uh, there's that we got a little book and they gave extra mallet heads and what is this it's like the mallet wait did you give me extra numbers Oh, they knew, they knew they frigged up. Oh, may, okay, wait, so is it not a, what? So maybe it's not a one? I don't know, because this is, they gave me a string of numbers. And it's like one through seven, but then there's like a, this one on the end, and then this one at the end has like a little hump on the top, like an eye. So maybe it's an eye. I don't know. But they did give me extra numbers, I guess, in case my numbers fall off, so that's nice of them. Um... What, is, what are these things? There's just, there's a lot of little things in here. Oh, what's, what's this? I don't really know. I don't know what they intend for these. Oh, so I can play with my hands. Oh, that's lit. They gave me finger mallets. Oh, they frigged up with that. Love that. Love, look at the. Okay, I think there's a pinky one, and I think I have it on the wrong finger, but it's fine. Put a little, now I gotta, now I gotta pull it back out. Should have looked. And then this is, what is this? Is this like a mallet holder? I guess this is so I can like rest my mallets. Um, not sure. Does it say in here what that is? I do not have as much impact with my fingers. Let me put my finger pieces away. Yeah, I, I doubt I left all of that in there. But, you feel me? A tongue drum prodigy in the making. <laughs> you feel me? Okay, I'm, I'm just, I'm really excited. This is just a package of things that make me happy at this point. At this point, I'm just pleased. Come on, I'm gonna zip, thank you. Okay, put my tongue drum over here. All right. Mind you, feet still being massaged as we speak. Is this the last thing in here? I don't, I don't want to do that last. Because it requires me taking my feet off of this thing. Anything else in here? I don't want to just dump it because there's styrofoam in here. Okay, yeah, I think this is it. Alright, so these last two, well, these two things were 
came together in a set, but I guess they just packaged them separately. I'm only going to open one because they're the same thing. It's just one's pink and one's green. Um, I don't have anything over here to... Oh, maybe I do. To demonstrate it with... with to demonstrate it on for you. Here we go. Um, but... Hold on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. It is a... So it's like to help you when you're reading to hold the book open without you having to like go like this. You know, I can show you. So just say, you know, obviously your book would be bigger than this potentially more than likely. But instead of having to like, oh, let me get to the middle of the book so it's thick, equally thick on both sides. But instead of like holding your book like this to keep it open while you're reading, you put this on your thumb and then holds the book open for you and you just you can just you feel me see you see that so i'm in in the bed reading and i just want i want everything flat out wide open and i don't want to you know strain my hand trying to trying to keep stuff open with two different fingers and the book is thick and then my hand cramping up you just got your your one little thing hand flat on the back holding your book open but that's what this is that's what that's for I mean, couldn't, I don't see how that could have gone wrong, and it didn't. So this last item, I don't, can you tell what it is Ugh. from looking at it? Okay, probably not. Um, <laughs> so these are, oh, my, really ready to come out. Here we go, here we go. Uh, I'm dead. I am dead. Okay. <laughs> Oop, I think my thing died. My foot massager just died. I need to charge the thing. Okay, so these are not the best, the best quality, but also not the worst. Um, they're sneaker house shoes. Ah! Don't ask me which sneaker this is. Is this a five? Is it a? I don't know. Who knows? A four? It's supposed to be a Jordan though. But I got these because these were the only green option. I didn't really care what type of shoe it was. Um, <laughs> I just got a little blue on the front. A little white in the back. Don't ask me how accurate it is. It looks pretty accurate. It looks like a shoe I've seen. This looks like it could be a knockoff of the shoe it's supposed to be. To be honest, me holding it like this is like, why your shoe so puffy? But it's a house shoe. But now my qualm is, are they going to fit? And it, it actually has functioning laces. So there's that. So even if it's like wide, you can tighten it. But I don't know if it's going to be long enough. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's going to do it. Let's put her on. I don't know which foot is which. I have to say these fit. Now my toe is right at the edge. So if your foot is any longer than mine, I am a size eight and a half to nine in women's, uh, size seven in men's. Uh, so if your foot is any longer than mine, these are not gonna fit and they are one size fits all. So one size does not fit all. Um, it does thankfully fit me, but it will not fit probably anything any bigger than me because this is like exact and my toe is touching the seam, which could potentially cause me irritation, like mental irritation. <laughs> Let's see, Tie, tighten them up. Oh, I tied these so tight, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. LOL. I love a goofy slipper. I, let's see, can I show you my slipper? on foot <clears throat> there they are they're doing what they're supposed to do I can't lie yeah that's everything I got that was the last item we ended on a banger I feel like everything was a banger this was I think my favorite team haul I've done this far like now who knows if there will be another one i'm not gonna lie and say there won't be but i'm not gonna guarantee that there will be but uh yeah i'm pleased like i am overjoyed phone over here charging although it is this max this thing is real hot i don't know don't cook my phone please now i wonder if it would have stuck through my um yeah, why does it feel like it's trying to melt? All right, we're 
We're gonna test this. Let me see, let me double check on these headphones and make sure those actually work for real steel. And do I have to like re-Bluetooth them every time I'll... Okay. It sounds like they just connected. Let's see. Yeah, this is the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope, you know, you enjoyed some of the things I got here. Maybe some things you're interested in. Maybe you're going to take up the tongue drum. I am so excited about that. Or get your feet massaged on this little, like, how convenient is this? Like, you literally could take this with you. It's like paper. Um, now, it is a little intense, but sometimes that's what you need. <laughs> But that's, that's all I have. I'm really just rambling at this point and extremely excited about all the things I got. Overall, I, I can tell you my total. For all the things you just saw, that was $80 worth of stuff. Like, I spent $80. It was way more than $80 worth of stuff. Let's see. What, what, my, what was my total supposed to be? And let's is that more than it should have been? Uh, let me tell you. Uh, let's see. I literally have Timu hidden on the last page of a folder of shopping apps because I'm trying to avoid it. Um, my orders. Yeah, so my total was $80.23. Is that what it said? Where'd it go? View receipt. Here we go. $80.32. Um, so my total should have been $106.12. I only saved $31.57. But, like, honestly, that's still, like kind of an amazing deal I'd say for the stuff that I got but yeah you saw all the prices and stuff as I was going through it so thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you never miss another video from me but until next time love y'all peace